Hi, this is Kay Hall of the Clever Someday blog, and today I'm excited to show you a new website called Turtle Toy and introduce you to generative art. What is generative art? Well, it's art generated by a computer program as opposed to being drawn by a human. Of course, the human has to program the computer, but then the algorithm does all the work. Generative art has been around since the 50s and 60s when plotters first came on the scene and it's experiencing a resurgence with modern artists and programmers. Turtle Toy is a new website that provides a platform where programmers can make their algorithms easily accessible. It's a place for them to show off and share their talent with programmers and non-programmers alike. Why is this great for digital die cutters? Well, Turtle Toy allows export to SVG. Most of the creations called Turtles can randomly generate new renditions without programming knowledge. So that makes it a great source of new and different files to draw, etch, foil, etc. with your cutter. Turtle Toy is very easy to use. The first thing you need to do is to select a turtle. When you first go to turtletoy.net, you'll see a screen something like this with the latest contributions first. There are dozens and dozens to choose from. Not all of them are going to be suitable for drawing with your machine. So what you want to look for is something that has fairly few lines, is fairly simple, especially if you're just starting out. Here I've compiled a few of my favorites, and I'll give you the links to these to help you choose ones that are great for starting out. You'll see there's all kinds of different looks here. One of my favorites was the Cubic Cityscape, and it was the first one that I plotted from Turtle Toy. And there's also a simplified version that's been modified by Jason Jacobson, who happens to be a Cricut guy. So when you take a look at this, you have your results on the left and your code on the right. Don't be intimidated by the code. You don't need it at all. You can just click the Compile and Run button to get a new random result. Now, if you are a coder or just want to experiment, you can edit the right-hand panel and you can't hurt anything. If you want to look for clues about things you could change to make different effects, Take a look at the commented text. Those are the lines that start with two slashes and are kind of grayed out. But again, this is totally optional and shouldn't scare you off from using Turtle Toy. When you get a result that you like, you just scroll down to the download button. It's this little arrow box icon. When you hover over, you'll see the words export turtle as SVG. You just click on that. You'll get a dialog box that gives you some options. I suggest you just leave it like it is and click export and the SVG will go to your downloads folder. So once you've downloaded the turtle results, it's pretty easy to upload that in a Cricut design space. Starting with a new document, click the upload button and then the upload image button and then the browse button and navigate to your downloads folder where your new turtle should be listed at the top and click open. Here's where you would name and tag your file but for the sake of time, I'm just going to click through. There's no cleanup because this is an SVG. Now we click on the newly uploaded image and insert it into our map. We're going to get an error message because this has a lot of strokes and Cricut sees it as large, but really doesn't have any trouble handling it after that. Now if we scroll over here, we see that we have dozens and dozens and hundreds even of layers. And just a few weeks ago, we would have had to change each of these to write or draw individually. But now, with the new changes in Design Space, very simple with the whole thing grouped and selected still to go to Line Type and click Draw. And all of this changes to Draw in one click. I love this update. Now, you can size this any way you want. Obviously, if you size it too small, the lines are going to be very close together. So it kind of depends on the tip of your pen and the other factors to get something that you like. But let's say we wanted to put this on the front of a card. So I'm going to add a shape for my card. I'm going to unlock that and I'm going to size it to 8.5 by 5.5. This will be A2 card. Change that color to white. Now I also need to add a score line. I need that to be 5.5 inches tall. 
I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the card shape as well. Then I'm going to go to align center and then I'm going to send that to back. Now I can take my sketch and I can position it on the card where I would like it and resize it. So let me show you a little trick for getting something centered on the front of a card. I'm going to add another rectangle. And I'm going to size it to the width of my card front, which in this case is 4.25. And I'll make it short just so it's not in the way. I'm going to select it and my large rectangle. I'm going to go align, align right. It moves to the rightmost point, so you want to be sure that the card is to the right so it doesn't move. And now I can use this shape, select that, and I can center that way. So when I center horizontally, that moves into the perfect position. And then I can just get rid of this extra shape. So now I've already got my generative art set to draw. I want the score line set to score, which it is, and I want the rectangle of the card set to cut, which it is. So I'm going to select all of that, and I'm going to attach. Now when I go to make it, and you can see here from the preview that we have score, draw, and cut, and that's the order it will go in. We're going to set our material setting to whatever our card stock is. It's going to prompt us to put the score tool in the accessory side, blade in the blade side. It will do the scoring, then it will prompt you for the pen, and it will do the drawing, and then it will cut out your card. I hope you'll enjoy using Turtle Toy to create one-of-a-kind drawings with your Cricut. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up and a follow. Also be sure to stop by my Clever Someday blog for more unique Cricut ideas you won't find anywhere else. As always, thanks for watching.